creative art classes with John Mark. Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon squirrel. Hey, it's John Mark and welcome to my class and teaching you how to draw cartoons. Today's lesson is on a squirrel. So what you're seeing me do currently right now is doing like the action line and just a skeleton of uh, how the character is going to be posed. So I just wanted to keep in mind with this one because it's a little bit more involved than some of the other ones at times I have done. So what I normally would do is maybe uh, make like the stick figure and create where the hands and uh, the body and the motion is going to be. And then from there, I'll build upon this. All right. So let's begin with our actual squirrel. All right. So the first thing I'm going to start to do right now is I'm going to lay out his head and I want to build his shape right now. I'm going to be just sketching that out. And there's a crosshair to indicate where the eye is going to go and the nose and the mouth working on his little eyebrow. He's kind of angry. Someone stole his pecan pie. All right. So let's shade in his eyeball right now there and get his other brow going there. So in this case, this is kind of more expression where you see his face and his angle in a way with his arms and his feet, giving that whole um, message that he is angry. All right, so working on his mouth now. There we go. That, that angry, his little big tooth there that he has there. All right, there we go. Working more on his lip. That bottom lip, that roll down, really is kind of like shows that he's upset. All right, so here we go, getting his ears on there, getting his fur. And let's get the top of his head. Okay, here we go. Gets his other side of his ear. He's looking good. All right. Okay, get the rest. It's start to work on his body now. His arms, we're going to lay in there. Okay, his hand. That's that whole angle, really angular, not very loose, kind of shows that stiffness of being upset. All right, so let's continue, get the light line. That's what just indication show where I know where to shade. Shadow in there. Okay, let's get his other hand up in the air now. There we go. And what you'll notice at the corner of his elbows and knees, uh, I'll be adding fur. So this is a nice indicator for a lot of stylized cartoons like this style. All right, let's get a little bit deeper now, a little bit more uh, in depth with his uh, lips there and his mouth, shading that in to give some contrast. Separate the areas. Uh, let's make the eyes a little darker now and get his eyebrows there too. So they really stand out. There we go, get the other one. That's a little higher. He's like, yo, who stole my pecan pie? Uh, light shading for the nose, not too dark. So you can see the contrast. All right, he's coming out good. Now let's work on the, his body right now with his legs. Get that worked out there. All right, there's his belly. So this is just a quick sketch as you uh, will be seeing uh, and as my, my previous videos as well. You'll hear me say I'll go very light and then I'll come back and go a little darker. So remember, this is just a sketch so you can always change it uh, right after, do another one or in this case, I could actually take it to my inking and uh, color it in um, as well as change some of those lines when I'm inking it in too. So his uh, fun tail, working that all the way around right now. There we go, a little darker, his fur. Okay, yeah, you got the whole action of him. Now let's come back to get a little bit more detail and strengthen up some of those lines a little darker. That's his backside of his ear there and the top of his hair. All right, his little mouth there. Okay, there we are. That's looking good. A little bit more detail with his lip. All right, his cheek there. Okay, that's a darker. As you can see now, when it's get darker, I'm a little bit more in control. There's that little hair at this elbow again. Okay, let's get his little back and his belly there. Okay, his knee there. Yeah, it's looking good. 
And this is just uh, going back now to over the lines I did is sometimes in there, you just see, I just added some fur on that corner. All right, to get that indication. That's looking good. Let's get this side of the foot. You may not see all three toes because it could be facing out, but he still has three toes. But visually, you may not see it. All right, let's get that fur on his chest a little bit more darker, a little bit more defined. Yeah, that's looking really good. All right, so let's get his elbow. And there's this fur is really uh, messed up. Yeah, I hope he finds his pecan pie, though. I'm actually getting hungry for one. Mm -mm. Let's get his fingers there. His fist shows that action of upset and the other one facing down, like right here. So that's that whole action, the two, one up, one down. And that angular really with his back pose. So creating the action lines are really critical to make sure that you get your point across, get more power out of your drawing in this case. Okay, let's work on some gravity, some little stones on the bottom, and some uh, grass. They're sketching that in right now to give him so he doesn't look like he's floating. All right, looking good. All the grass there, little stones, pebbles. Shade that in lightly. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, I think we're done. So let's sign in, date it. I like to end this video with an emphasizing that action line. So I'm gonna take this little red pen and go over the drawing once again so that you can see the motion as I have drawn. So you can see the, the pose going forward, his arms and his legs and how the tail actually flows. So this action line is a really good useful tool before actually starting our cartoon. So I hope this helped a little bit more. And as always, thanks for watching my video. Check us out on Facebook, that's JMG Studio, and on our Instagram account, that's JMG Studio Cartoon. Don't forget to visit our website, that's jmg-studio.biz. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you should take a look at our bookstore and download or purchase How to Draw 50 Different Fish.